everybody, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Kansas Girl. I've been sick this week and so I only have about half of my voice. So I will be doing a voiceover in this video. If you'd like to see how I achieve this look, please stay tuned. I've already applied my Kula Sunscreen SPF 30, my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, my Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless Eye Primer, and my Pore Professional Pore Filler Primer. Now I will apply my Givenchy Photo Perfection Fluid Foundation with SPF 20. I'm wearing the color Perfect Petal number two. It has a beautiful pink undertone. And I'll put a little bit on my hand and then I will dot that on my face and then use the Beauty Blender to kind of perfect the way it looks. Sometimes I will combine this foundation with my Double Wear Light by Estee Lauder. Um, that gives it a little bit more of oil control, but I'm not doing that today. And this is just a beautiful finish on this foundation. I really enjoy it. Moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Celebration Palette. First I'm going to use one of my brand new Sonia Kashuk brushes, it's a small accent brush. And I'm going to try to apply the champagne to my crease. But I quickly find that that's not showing up very well, so I go ahead and cover my whole lid with that. And now I'm going to bring in my new Sonia Kashuk Contour Brush, the tiny one. And what I'm going to use is the color called Miracle and put that in the crease. Next I'm going to apply a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. It's a matte finish and it's in yellow. The color is called Hello. And I'm going to use an accent brush by Modern Minerals. I'm just going to apply this shadow over my mobile lid. Picking up my Sonia Kashuk Small Accent Brush again, I apply the Toasty color in my outer V and in the crease. Then I decide I need a little extra oomph, so on the outer crease I add some spice. And I take my IT Cosmetics Small Flat Brush and I go and I'm picking up the Snow Angel color to put just right underneath my eyebrows. And I'm going to take my number 20 Sonia Kashuk really nice brush and blend, blend, blend. I feel like I want some more drama, so I'm going to take my Modern Minerals brush again and dip that in the sugar plum and apply that to the outer corners of my eye. Now on to eyebrows, I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe. I will try to get that right side up. Um, and so I go ahead and apply that and then I'm going to kind of control my little eyebrows by putting on some clear eyebrow gel by NYX and the name of it is Control Freak. I like it because it's very effective and it's very inexpensive. Now I'm going to apply my Blink Ultra Thin Liquid Eyeliner Pen just to the upper lashes. And I decided to go ahead and fast forward through to this because unfortunately you could not really see what I was doing. I'm going to now apply the IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in Slate just to my lower lashes. I like it because it's not so harsh looking. Moving on to my eyelashes, I'm going to curl them with my Sally Hansen Eyelash Curler. And then I'm going to apply my Tarte Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. And I'm only going to apply that to my upper lash line. I usually avoid my lower lash line these days because I feel like it kind of ages me. And I don't like getting flecks or smudges under my eyes. Here's a close up of my eyes. It turned out pretty nice. Now I'm going to apply my blush, and that is the IT Cosmetics Airbrush Cheek Stain in Sweet Cheeks, and I'm using one of my fluffy brushes. I think that's a Real Techniques brush. Yes, that's a Real Techniques blush brush. 
now I'm applying my lip liner, the IT Cosmetics Your Lips But Better. It's a waterproof lip liner stain and the color is Romantic Rose. And for lipstick, I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Vitality Lip Flush in the color Damsel. And I would describe this as a rosy nude. It's really not a real light nude. I cannot wear the ones that are really nude because they just wash me out. But this one's very pretty and the formula is moisturizing too, so that's a big plus. For a highlighter, I'm going to use my Ofra Illuminating Blush Stripes, but I'm only going to pick up a little bit of that gold color with my large accent Sonia Kashuk brush. Now to finish off my look and set my foundation, I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, and that's the original formula. And I'm going to apply that with a super fluffy, wonderful IT Cosmetics brush. Now I'll take my hair down, get to see my final look. Hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave me comments, I love those. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you all next time. Bye!